Dave Ramsey's Advice for Young People Who Want to Be Rich About 12 years ago, I read a quote from a book which really changed my life. That quote goes something like, if you can decide to live 5 years of your life like most people won't, you can live the rest of your life like most people can never afford to. I took the quote so serious that I was willing to sacrifice 10 years of my life so that I could live the rest of my life like no one else. And that was exactly what I did. I sacrificed my age 21 to 29. And since I was 30, I lived the way most people can never live in their entire life. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you a very important advice from Dave Ramsey. I believe this simple advice can change your life and make you wealthy. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here it is. Dave Ramsey said, if you will live like no one else now, later you can live like no one else. I think it's actually very simple. If you can make sacrifices that other people cannot make now, you will enjoy what other people can never enjoy later. Think like a farmer Once upon a time, there were two corn farmers who harvested their corn. One of the farmers said, Well, there is only one life and I have to enjoy it now since I don't know what tomorrow brings. So he ate half of his corn, sold the other half to marry a new wife. The second farmer told himself, Though life is one, it may last 70 years so we better plan for the next few years. He ate half of his corn too but he kept the other half to be planted the next farming season. When the next harvest season came, the first farmer had nothing to harvest because he planted nothing while the second farmer had 500 folds of what he harvested the previous year. Now he could eat all he wanted and marry a new wife with ease. Here's the lesson in that parable. If you eat your cake now, you'll forever suffer because you'll always be on the lookout for another cake. However, if you keep and invest your cake today, a future is coming where you have multiple cakes more than what you ever can finish. If you will live like no one else now, later you can live like no one else. My Personal Story I've told this story many times on this channel but I think a good story is worth repeating. From my age 18 to 32, I was the poorest guy in the world or at least among my mates. My goal was never to buy what everyone is buying. My goal was to build the kind of life no one was building. I used the cheapest phones, cheapest clothes and cheapest shoes. I lived in cheap houses and never even bought a wristwatch of $50. Every single dollar that went through my hands must not go out until I ask, how can I invest this? Most people think that the reason why they are not investing is because they don't have money. Well, the reason why you are not investing is because you have social media accounts and you must take the photographs of your watches, phones and beautiful homes. Everybody in the world can invest, even the poorest among us. My Life and Investing when I was 21, I told my mother that I needed capital to start a business. I then traveled to visit one of my sisters and when I was returning, I got some money from her but the money was so small that I couldn't do anything with it. So I stopped at a bookstore and bought a bag full of books. When I returned home, my mother carried my heavy bag and saw that I was filled with several books. Mom asked me, but you told me that you needed capital to start a business. I looked at my mom and replied her, Yes mom, pointing to my books. I said, this is the first capital I needed. After this time, I traveled away from home and started reading these books. About three weeks after reading these books, I had learned enough skills to negotiate for capital and I was able to get some capital applying what I learned from the books. What is even more interesting is the fact that one of the books I bought that time ended up being the most valuable book I've ever read in my entire life. That single book has made me thousands of dollars since then and I still have it today. So, whenever I hear people saying I don't have money to invest, I wonder what they are talking about. I mean, everyone has $10 to buy a book and knowledge is the most valuable investment you can ever make. 
Even after you've become a millionaire, the $50 monthly investment you make on books will still be more valuable to you than the $50 million you invest in real estate. Believe me, I'm telling you the truth. Knowledge is the primary and most valuable investment. If you have the right information, you'll get anything else you need under the sun. I know some people will tell me, but I don't have $10 to buy a book. That's fine. I didn't have money to buy books too when I started out, but I read more than 200 books that I didn't buy. Borrow books from your friends, go to the library, download the free PDF on the internet, download the free audiobooks on YouTube. If you will live like no one else now, later you can live like no one else. Investment is a habit A lot of people think that people who invest simply have money. <laughs> well, that's not true because most people who invest with millions today actually started investing when they had no money. Investment is not what happens to people when they start making $300,000 a year. Investment is what people start even when they have nothing. It doesn't really matter how little you earn. There are three things you can do. Those three things are invest your time wisely, invest in knowledge, and save. Almost everyone watching this video can do all these three but only 1% will do it because most other people are too busy worrying about what other people will think about them because they have low self-esteem. It's low self-esteem that makes people buy what they cannot afford. It's low self-esteem that makes people want to impress others with things they borrow money to buy. Here's the thing, if you borrow money to buy anything, you don't own it, it owns you. I repeat, if you borrow money to buy anything, you don't own it, it owns you. Many people who grew up in Western culture will not like this statement but I think it's true. There is no point looking big if you are not big. It simply doesn't make any sense to me for a broke person to look like a millionaire. If you are small, don't struggle to look big. Instead, plan to be big. If you are broke, don't struggle to look as if $100,000 is in your bank account. If you earn $50,000 a year, don't struggle to look as if you earn $500,000. If you will live like no one else now, later you can live like no one else. Do this. I want you to do this simple exercise. Sit down and ask yourself, if I'm going to live till 75, how many years do I have left? Many people watching this video still have as much as 40 to 50 years to live. Now ask yourself, will it be better for me to live the next 40 years as an average person, living from hand to mouth, struggling with money and looking rich while I'm broke? Or will it be better if I can live the next 7 to 10 years of my life like no one, making all the necessary sacrifices, investing all the time I've got into meaningful things, buying knowledge instead of new phones, living in the smallest house possible, driving the smallest car possible, and saving as if my life depend on it, taking smart risk towards my financial freedom and doing difficult things most other people will never do, and then have my financial freedom in the next 5-7 or 10 years. You cannot eat your cake and still have it. You can't live big today and still live big tomorrow. You can't have freedom if you cannot fight. Yes, fighting is tough, fighting is risky, fighting is dangerous but you cannot have freedom if you are afraid of fight. You've got to fight for your financial freedom today if you want to have it tomorrow. If you will live like no one else now, later you can live like no one else. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.